what's going on guys <clears throat> we're back out here on the old trap line uh not a bit very big trap line yet but we're still waiting for a few things to come in um we want to get some yote sets out here eventually just kind of waiting on some baits for that um and then eventually we're going to start going after some coon too i think we got 11 dog proofs and then we also have a, a bunch of footholds for them as well but uh today we're back out here we got two footholds that we're going to check and then the rest are all kind of bears so we're going to hopefully see if we can get a couple more rats or something that way we have a little bit more than just one to do today but uh and it's raining and it's raining and then we're supposed to get like what six to eight inches of snow yeah fun stuff and it was just 60 degrees out here the last two days so but yeah we're gonna get after it make sure you guys stay tuned um this is day two of us running the trap line and if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button guys quit waiting we're gonna keep doing this until we until we get a following um we love doing this stuff and want you guys to if you guys enjoy it leave a thumbs up if there's other stuff you guys want to see leave a comment down below so we can interact with you guys um we we want you guys to let us know what you guys want to see we want to make this just as as fun and interesting as it is for us for you guys so um, <coughs> i'm gonna shut up put the camera away before it gets soaked too and we'll see you guys at the trap all right guys so this trap we really didn't think we were gonna catch anything um i'm not exactly sure what kind of counter bear this is it's right right between a 110 and 220 um but we saw this one just because there was a huge run here we didn't even think it was set right but lo and behold we did catch one we got ourselves another rat pull up and we can't even see the trap we didn't think anything was on it <laughs> but hey it was worked. getting so dark last night we couldn't even see if it was in the run or not right well <laughs> neither one of us knew i was like well i think it's set on the side but i guess we'll find out Got him good though. Yeah, he's a little far in though. Well, that's a bigger trap. That one. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we just pulled up to our third kind of bear trap here. This one has been set for two days. We didn't have anything in it the first day, but. It did prevail this time. All right, guys, we're back out here. Um, day number six, I think. Um, it's hard to keep track. Another day on the trap line. And uh, <clears throat> so today we're back out here. Um, the other night, well, the last time we were out here when we reset our traps and stuff, uh, we ended up setting two coon traps with two 20s um, in buckets and then we also set another foothold and we moved a couple traps around so the first two traps are right here as we come into the ditch and uh so we're gonna see what we got and that's a double kill. so so far guys our best day has been three critters it has three rats so Maybe today will be a day where we can get a few more, but I mean, our, as you guys can see, our first two traps are here on double runs, and we doubled up. So we're gonna get down here and get these guys taken out, get the reset, and move on to the next one. One tens don't feel very good on your hand. You get your finger? Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is, Logan? What? It's the stakes. Yeah, it's the stakes. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. 
Alright, so there's one. Oh. No, you know what it is? It's the friggin' holes in my brand new waders. He wasn't bad. I'm still waiting to catch a 3X rat. All right, that's our first double. On to the next ones. All right guys, so we just cruised down the way, um, went past our coyote set that we have on here. Uh, later today, we're gonna come out and set a few more, um, probably on a different section. But uh, cruise down, third water set, and we got another rat. So that's three for three on our con bears today. So. But I will bet you money, we're not gonna get too cocky because we know how our luck goes. This one looks like a good rat. Yeah. He looked big. Yeah, that's a that is a huge rat. Yes. Probably the big one we seen swimming the other day. Yeah, nice. That's that bigger trap too, ain't it? Yeah. That is a big rat. Well, buddy, I'm sorry I had to end this way. No, you're not. All right, guys, so we just made it to our <coughs> fourth conibear. bear. Um, Checked a foothold, didn't have anything in that. Just pulled up to our fourth counter bear, and we got another rat. So, so far, we are four for four. <clears throat> We're starting to get a little ice here, too. I think last night, guys, we hit 19 degrees or something like that. Something cold, I can tell you that much. It's thicker <clears throat> ice than what we had yesterday. Shoot, if it keeps freezing like that, guys, we're going to be ice fishing here soon. Now, that's a quarter inch of good ice. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> and the water's cold. No? Nope.
think so. All right, guys, so we're back to our fifth conibear. Fifth and lo and behold. There's another one, that one down there. So we are going to be eight for eight. Yeah. Eight conibear set and eight muskrats. So we doubled the amount of rats we got today. Must have got it right after we said it last night. Well, shoot, it got down to 19 degrees or something last night. This wind's not helping anything either. Huh? The wind's not helping the temp either. Uh, what? This ain't a rat. What is it? Is it alive? No. Okay. It's got a furry tail. I think it might be a mink. Really? That is not a muskrat. That would be a mink. And that, ladies and gentlemen. So we did end up going eight for eight on our counter birds, but the last one was not what we thought it was. Besides the possum that we got in the foothold the other day. <laughs> Alright guys, what's going on? Um, we're back out here today. Um, and actually, finally, so the property that we do a lot of our deer hunting on, we have a ton of coon. Well, we don't like to come out and shine and shoot them at night because we don't want to disturb a bunch of the deer that's going on and everything else. So, um, along with running our water line, um, we came up yesterday and decided to set some um, dog proofs and also a couple other footholds and 
So right now we're just, just now coming in, getting started. Um, gonna check these first two and then uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. All right guys, so we just walked up here to the first trap <clears throat> and this set is a DP and we got us a big freaking coon here. Big old coon. So um, we're gonna get him dispatched and we'll move on. All right, guys, so we got him taken care of, so now we're going to rebate this and uh, set it again. See if we can, can't get any more out of here. Yeah. All right, guys, so we've already checked. Well, we checked three more after that, or four more after that coon. Um, one had a rabbit in it. And now we're coming up to two more, and we have this lovely guy just sitting here looking at us. So we're uh we're gonna get him taken care of and uh we're gonna move on <clears throat> all right guys well we just finished up running our trap line at a different property where we have pretty much everything just set out for coon um we have a huge coon issue up there and like i said before we don't really coon haunt up there um but right now we are back down here around our water line and just pulled up to the first two and it looks like we have a rat in one and the other one looks like it's still set so we're gonna get this old boy pulled out of here basically basically what i'm setting here i don't know if you guys can see that with the glare but um there's a run right here that comes up into the bank and these rats have really been using this so far These traps have been doing pretty good. Um, we had a we went on a dry spurt there for the last two days where we hadn't caught any. But now finally got another one. So we're gonna get this reset, put back in the same spot, get our prongs bent back out here. see my notches get that put back in the middle notch there right in the center and get that right back down in the run not a very big one it's a small one but like i said these we went oh what was it two or three were days where we didn't have anything out here so um, we at least caught a few coon up to corey and like i said those are our first two here in the ditch so hopefully we got some oh, a couple more 